Hey guys, here's a new Substance Painter tutorial in which I create an emissive channel to add some glowing lights to the simple panel we made in the previous part. Here you can see it with the smart material and all the maps that we baked. And the first thing you have to do to add emission is to add an emissive channel here in the texture set settings. So just click this little plus icon here and choose emissive. And after that I add a new fill layer to the top of the layer stack, but the only material that I enable for this is emissive. Ok, then I define a color for this, for example a blue tone, and then the object is painted in blue. But of course I just want some special parts to be blue and emissive, so I add a black mask to this layer that masks everything. And then I can use a white brush to paint onto the mask where I want the emissive parts to appear. But before I paint I select a different alpha, a rectangle, this one here. And then I go to the shader settings and increase the emissive intensity. And look at this what happens when I paint now with white onto the black mask, we can paint in the emission and it is quite shiny already but what you can do to improve the effect is to set the color of the material to a brighter value, so you just use more white. Ok, I will stick to this setting and then I'm going to paint in the emission at these kind of sticking out areas that we created by baking the high poly mesh. So I will paint a line on these areas and to do this I decrease the size of the brush first, so hold the control key pressed and then the right mouse button and move the mouse and then click one time to define the starting point, then press the shift key, draw the line to the end point and left click again. Ok, that's how to do it, I will speed this up now because it's the same for all the other parts. That looks really nice, but I think I will turn the color of the material to a kind of yellow or light green tone and add a bit more white to it. I think I will increase the emissive intensity a bit more. Alright, and if you like you can also adjust the glare post-process effect and play with the values for luminance, threshold, the remap factor or the shape. Ok, what else can we do? We could use a different alpha and increase the brush size by holding the control key pressed and moving the mouse wheel or pressing the right mouse button and move the mouse. And then select the black mask and paint this alpha onto it with a white brush. The alpha can also be rotated, I rotated here 180 degrees and then paint it onto the mask as well. Yeah, not bad. Ok, now the last thing that I want to show you is how to take away some parts that you added with the white brush, for instance something like this. To do this I turn the grayscale value of the brush to black and with that I'm able to erase the parts that we painted because we are painting with black onto a black mask, which means I'm removing the white parts. Now use again a white brush and then I rotate the brush on the fly which can be done by holding the control key pressed, left mouse button down and move the mouse back and forth. And then I come again with the black brush and take away some more parts. And with this approach you can create really interesting shapes and effects. Again rotate the brush and paint with black. So 
So guys, that's it again. I hope you find this useful and you like it. And if you like this channel, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to support me, think about being my patron. This will really help me creating more tutorials. Add your questions or ideas to the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.